Do you see many black doctors out there? Uh, no. no, not many. Growing up, I had a black Don't doctor. Know. And the Herring family is lucky to find one. There's not many of them. The Association of American Medical Colleges says only 5% of active physicians nationally identify as black. If they've gone and studied their lessons, mm -hmm. they've got the same expertise as any other. Wanted to talk a little bit about the diversity in medicine program. And the New York State and Associated Medical Schools of New York know it's an issue. A press conference was held at the Jacobs School of Medicine at the University at Buffalo to announce a $4.64 million investment to diversify, a solution that helps target middle and high schoolers. Really giving them exposure to access to uh, science and scientists um, so that they can actually envision uh, a career in medicine or a career in research. Now, Jonathan Tian with AMSNY says investing more in school STEM programs or even seeing someone with the same skin color can go a long way. It's very easy to get derailed off that route unless you've got some support. I see some African-American physicians. And fortunate for Sidney Pickett, he had that support. That shows you, one, that you can do anything you want. If you put your mind to it, there's no barriers for you. You can be successful because when you look up to that role model and you see he's successful, so that means you can be successful as well. And that goes with anybody. Because as young as the sixth grade, he knew medicine was his calling. Now in his third year of medical school, he's almost at the finish line to become an anesthesiologist. Well, if it's worth it, then you're going to have to work hard for it regardless. Otherwise, everybody could do it. But as far as the hard work, yes, there's hard work. Yes, it's a lot of long hours. Yes, it's a lot of preparation. But it's worth it in the end because if you take it one day at a time, you'll be able to achieve that goal. And you can't let a little hard work or a deterrence affect you. Keelan, actually a really good story, but in your story, you said going toward middle school and high school, they want to get more people. Um, tell me how the STEM program is helping with that. Well, yeah, Claudine, like I was saying before, STEM is a science, technology, engineer, and mathematics program that uses hands-on learning or problem-based learning for students. Now, giving those under-resourced school districts a STEM program will I only give them the opportunities, but also give them the resources at a young age. But regardless of what Jonathan was telling me there was that no matter what, seeing someone that looks just like you in the field is going to go a long way. You're absolutely right about that. Keelan, thank you very much for that report tonight. Thank you.